What's going on guys? Today we are playing Street Fighter 6. Not the full version, demo, but it is still a bit of game. Create an avatar, ooh boy. Is it money? That's that character I'm gonna main, Marissa. Ton of likes. <laughs> ton of likes, hell yeah. Okay, okay. Thanks for doing the YouTube thing for me, game. I, strong, but you know. I like the vibe so far. I really like the vibe. Over the details later if you want That's anyway. just Akuma. That's just Akuma. That's definitely interesting. That's Hagar. Robot? You can make a robot? Damn, they really go. That's that one dude from Hunter Hunter. You can make like Majima for of this. I know, not the most ambitious idea, but. Wonder if that beauty <laughs> Noctis? Noctis hair. The fucking Sharingan? Excuse me? You could just pull up with the Sharingan, okay. Bet? I'll put a Sharingan on my guy. Oh my god, you can color the sclera in this game. This is this is objectively the best game ever. Just saying it now. Objectively the best game ever. Let you change your sclera. Very based. <laughs> Got the Heihachi eyebrows, yo. That those are the Kazuya eyebrows. Yo, goblin ears. That's weird. You'd think they might have had, like, gauges. Actually, I feel like now that I've given him the goblin ears and I have pointed them out as such, I should make him green, huh? Oh. Oh. Bro is glowing. And this is what peak performance looks like. Oh, yeah, give him the fucking... We're going full Sasuke with this. He's got the Sharingan. He's got the curse mark. Oh, now that's speaking to me. That's saying ready to fight. You know what? Because whenever I watch Tekken Bloodline and I had to hear Ogre over and over again, I'm going to call him Ogre. <laughs> we got his mug shot and now we're ready to actually commit a crime. <laughs> No way, he's in cutscenes, let's go! Yeah, gotta say, you're photogenic. He really is. He really is photogenic. Oh! Oh, that's actually really cool, it plays like Blaze Blue. Modern is the only control type available in World Tour mode during Chapter 1. Okay. That's cool! I like that. I actually think that ups the accessibility a large amount. Crouch three times, uh oh, where they're teaching us how to be toxic. I actually might like this control scheme more for Street Fighter. It can take some getting used to, because usually uh, A is taking place of, like, drive button in Blaze Blue. Got his ass. Ooh, wait! It's got Mortal Kombat uppercut! That rules! This looks so fucking good. I love this. This is gonna become my favorite game of all time. Wanna start off on the right foot in this city. Oh, open world time? Are we really gonna do that in the demo? Hit the streets. Ooh, there he is. There's Hagar. Because they make it a phone, it is kind of a dated phone, because you can see like it has buttons. But because they made it a phone, it does kind of give more of a sense of I can I, I understand how to navigate through this because it is a phone. <laughs> Why hello there? Other written texts that I wasn't paid to voice. Um, hey. I understand video game studios don't have every single dollar in the world, but if you can get a voice actor to voice act a little bit more, I would appreciate it. They would appreciate it. That's their job. Um, when playing using modern control scheme assisted combos can be performed by keeping RT pressed while it's auto combos. Okay, it's my auto combo button. Gotcha. Again, very beginner friendly. I really like that. I like that they do that in like tag fighters where it's easier to hit the buttons because they're just kind of laid out in an ideal fashion. Because whenever you've got like six button fighters, it gets really like, Ugh, I'm, I'm scared and I don't want to do anything because I'm, I, I have to learn all this stuff. So the modern buttons is nice. Oh, I can just fight this person. And they'll just fight me. Okay, uh... 
fight and beat two people. Okay, can I be- Yes, I can fight regular salary man Mario. <laughs> Welcome to Metro City, where you make money with your muscles. They should do this with, like, a Yakuza game. I feel like that'd be very silly if you could just walk up to somebody and initiate combat with them by asking politely. Like, hey, I need a couple... I need a couple of yen. I need to go finish up the burger place around the corner. No, <laughs> oh, stop talking to me. I want to fight him. It's literally the funniest thing I can ever think of. Holy shit. This is the game ever. I'm so happy. I wish the Luke, like, big punch could, like, combo. I know Susano has combos like that in Blaze Blue, because he has his grab that he, like, throws you into the wall combo off of the wall bounds, and it's sick as hell, but I don't think he can do it with the Luke punch bounds. Also, the amount of stamina this guy has and the amount of uh, dedication in his defense is impressive. This shopkeeper, Biz. Thank you for the match, GG's. Wait, does his place just kind of look pixelated? Is that a gimmick thing or does that just look like shit? Because if it's a gimmick thing, I'm in love with that. Is that somebody with a Capcom hoodie on, with a box on their head? I don't remember seeing this in the... Oh, there's a tag? Oh, oh, this runs awful. Good lord. Can I, can I, uh... I, I, I guess I can't get a pause button in this trying time. Beware of people wearing cardboard boxes. Some city denizens may attack you on sight. I mean, that's not the most inconspicuous way of doing that. It's not like you're running out and you're yelling, Oh, I'm gonna go attack a person. But you feel obligated to wear a cardboard box over your head. Do, do, do the Faust thing and wear a paper bag. You'll look a little- you'll, you'll fit a little bit more in with the fighting game crowd. Ooh, ooh, wait, this is where- Drippin'? Drippin'? This is what I like. I like it because it feels like it's not pushing. Like, oh, this is modern. This is the the hip lingo. How do you do, fellow kids? It's just there. It just says Drippin' Style, and it's a shop name. I can get behind that. I can only buy this hat and look like the Stranger Things kid. I've never seen Stranger Things. This doesn't exactly go with what I'm wearing, does it? Wow, look at me. I look like, uh, Aokiji. You didn't have to get that hat, Bosh, my man. Just a couple of goobers out on the fucking town, I see. <laughs> oh god, more- more lag because we have more than two characters on screen. That first step you both took just now? It's something to be proud of. Man. You two are great students. I am loving the energy that we're getting from our coach in this game. It is massively appreciated. And then there's the classic style, which I appreciate that I can have that. I'm, I'm just going to get out of this mode. I don't, I don't care that it's not saving. I'm probably going to make me as like a character whenever it comes out. Hopefully Street Fighter can have the courtesy to make me in this game. Hear me out. What if they also made it so that there was a character at random like every week in the demo where you could play them? I think that'd be cool, because it gives people a chance to like try before they buy, because that's what a demo is supposed to be about, right? AI assisted attacks? <laughs> it's the masher version. I, I guess level 8 is as high as it gets. I want to see just how difficult this is. Chance to gain the upper hand. And can't afford to get hit again, but still has a chance to take the round if they get so. Player two sets the tone with that win. Let's see if they can keep it up. Round two. Oh shit! Uh, out of the gate. Nice parry. Miss time the perfect parry, but is still safe. Oh yeah, I can perfect parry by They're backed up into the corner. Player one 
is barely hanging in there, but can still mount a comeback using their drive. Medium kick hits. Gets the counter hit for the win. I, I forgot about the drive and how I did it. I can try that again. Are we gonna witness a blow up here? Oh, what the hell's that move? Reverse Hadouken. All that grinding and training has paid off. Look at the optimal damage on that combo. Will this choice to lay on the damage now ultimately pay off? Player two creates a good corner opportunity. Sees it coming and blocks it out. What a clutch side pitch there. Now they need to capitalize and the throw and the round. Player two picks up the first round. That'll give them a psychological advantage. Round two. Fight. Ops to create space to start from up above. A nice chunky combo. Can they keep up the the meter? Hoping for a good return. Player two will look to apply pressure here. Still slugging it out at this range. Oh, I, I'm okay. I think. They gotta lean heavily. Fires off the Shiku Hakai. Oh. I don't think anything. I was lying. Player I've never thought a damn thought in my life. We'll try this one more time, and then I'll stop because I've been recording for an hour. Hmm. I am not too good, I'm now realizing. I'm now realizing just the kind of shit you can do with Drive. Ooh. Very bad. Nice. Sees the combo through and takes the round. Player two picks up the always important first round. Bill wants to keep the ball rolling. Goes with the projectile for the opening shot. They both showed their hands a little bit, so they must be thinking of a counter. They brushes that off and keeps going. Hits them in the gut. Very slick on the combo. Oh, they're in the corner now. No running away. Shit. Oh, that left in a big opening. And I keep on letting go of my block too early. I keep on doing that. Like, with every fighting game, and it's a big problem. Would any of you like to be, see me play Ranked Blaze Blue? If you got all the way through this video, then uh, you should hit that subscribe button because you obviously like my content. And if you're not sure, then go watch another one. I'll put one up in the uh, recommended thing that I think is really good. So uh, go watch that one too. And uh, subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you later. And uh, I'm excited for Street Fighter 6 to come out.